Hey guys, welcome back to the Stationery Muse. I wanted to share the self-care planning pack with you. It'll be available in the shop Friday, December 30th. Let's go ahead and dive right into the self-care pack. And basically, I just want to say that this was designed pretty much just to kind of be selfish and to really kind of focus on yourself, on your health and fitness, uh, what you're eating, beauty routines, me time, all that kind of stuff. That's what this is for and you'll definitely see as we kind of dive in. Okay, so this is just the title page, nothing special about that. And then I do have some inspiring words. Um, this next page is the self-reflection journal and this is perfect for when you finally peel it open, you're ready to get started. Put your date down for when you start and you're going to answer some important questions. So uh, some of the questions, not all of them, but some of them include why do you want to start on this journey? Why do you want to achieve this goal? And how are you feeling in this moment? It's kind of like a journal for you to get started and really get your head in the right place for going on this journey to really give yourself the time that you deserve because I honestly feel like if you don't love yourself and if you don't give yourself the time that you need that there's no way that you can be good to someone else and that's just kind of how I feel so moving right along we also have the big goal list and this is basically all of the goals you have for yourself so maybe you saw this fitness plan on Pinterest or you know about this diet that you want to look into this is what you would write all that stuff down on down books you want to read pretty much anything what do you want to do that just is for yourself um, the inspiration page you can put some inspirational quotes that you love on there which is always great you can clip out pictures of things that just kind of get you excited and get you ready for this goal of what you want to do and you can really think of them as kind of like a vision board and you get two pages of those completely blank to just put whatever you want and then once you're done you can actually put them in the front of your planner so that you can the next thing is your me time ideas so kind of similar to the big goal list but this one is really getting a little more specific what things do you want to do for yourself that would be considered your me time so you could take bubble baths or you could go get a mani pedi every now and then or go get a massage take an hour to read a book um, just whatever you enjoy this is me time for me sometimes I even just like to sit there and just like draw on those adult coloring books or even paint um, I'm really creative so I like doing kind of like crafty things but definitely figure out what your me time ideas are and make them happen actually put them in your planner and schedule them in so that they can happen it the next page is the beauty routine page and this of course I know not all women are high maintenance I don't consider myself high maintenance at all but it's just a way for you to kind of really make a plan because me personally I have a really huge problem with remembering to do certain things like I have this Clarisonic that I got for my skin and I really want to get in a routine of actually using it multiple times a week and it's kind of like I remember to use it sometimes sometimes I don't I want to go get my nails done sometimes I can't afford it you know just the truth but it would just be nice to kind of have a routine just kind of set up for myself so that when I do have the money or I do have the time I know what I want to do and it allows you to kind of like put in what you want to go in your beauty routine so you can kind of brainstorm it first and then you can actually kind of jot down what you would want to do on certain days so like on Friday sometimes I've found myself going to get my nails done every two weeks or maybe like Monday Wednesday Friday I'll do my Clarisonic so whatever your beauty routine is just kind of pick a couple of things to just make sure because there's a lot of women out there if you have kids or if you have busy careers you don't really think about these small things but they do make you feel better like me going to get my eyebrows done is literally one of the best feelings for me sometimes even though it's so small and it's super painful <laughs> um it's just nice to be able to take that 10 to 15 minutes just to go and do a little something that I feel just gives me a little bit more you know confidence and there is some grid paper in here not for anything specific it's completely up to you for what you want to use it for as well as the next page which is lined paper and I just think these are great. You can use them as more journaling areas, just kind of brainstorm some things you want to do. Take it a step further with your beauty routine and maybe kind of like sketch it out on here. Um, if you're into like bullet journaling, you could kind of turn this into something like that for your beauty routine or really anything. It doesn't have to even do with this pack at all. So I do have some quotes in here. The first quote that you'll see says, fall in love with taking care of you. And this is so important. 
you have to love taking care of yourself. I am newly married and eventually, you know, I want to have my own family and everything like that. And I know just from watching my own mom and from just reading and watching YouTube videos and things like that, it's so important to just make sure that you don't lose yourself in your marriage or once you have kids. And it's easier said than done, but it's just something that you want to make sure that you remember to do and you make it a priority, even if it is an hour a week or one day out of the week just so that you know that you took that time for yourself it keeps you sane and i feel like it really allows you to give your best self to everyone else the next page i actually created some clean eating tips for you guys and i just kind of did a little research and found some things that i saw kind of common throughout the internet um just to read a few when you get it you can read all of them or you can pause this video and read them uh, but say yes to veggies water water more water you can never say no to having enough water fall in love with fruit and limit your alcohol intake so those are just a couple of the things but I just went ahead and did a little research and thought that it would be cute and if you haven't noticed there is color in this pack it's only on the pages that aren't really necessarily ones that you use so like kind of on the quote page a little bit of the mint color just to kind of spice this pack up a little bit but definitely didn't want to like force you into a color so it's only just on certain pages that I thought it would be nice a nice element so then after that you get to create your own rules on the clean eating rules page so it's blank that way you can kind of draw with different markers if you're into hand lettering that's something I'm new interested in you can hand letter your clean eating rules you can print them out and paste them here you can get them off Pinterest but it's basically like what additional rules or what rules from the first page do you want to take into your daily and I do want to say this this is not necessarily a pack for people that are getting ready to be on this strict strict diet it's really just for you to kind of take control and know what it is that you're eating. So just less fast food or eating more green and just things like that. It really doesn't have to be this like huge Whole30 diet or something like that. Although those are great, they're not for everybody and I'm realistic and I know that they're not really for me. But there are certain things that I know that I'm able to cut out and sometimes just writing it down and referring it back to it. I feel like it really helps a lot when, you know, it gets kind of tough because sometimes I do just want to go and grab that medium fry from McDonald's. I can't lie. But this is definitely what this is for. It's just to kind of set your ground rules and refer to it. So when times get rough, you'll have that. So the next page is meal planning and you also have a matching clean eating grocery list that goes with it so it's kind of a set and this is actually considered a supplemental pack so you get about four of them let me see yeah you get four of them in this pack but if you ever want to get more because it is only four in there I will have these in the shop for you to purchase so definitely keep that in mind if you want some more of these it's like a different type of set it's a little bit different from the traditional grocery list it's only one page because it's more clean eating and it really just kind of hones in on what's important basically you have your meal planning you have Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and weekend so you can plan out exactly what you're going to eat if it's just you or if you have someone else you're meal planning for you can do your prep on Sundays and then kind of jot down what you're going to be eating whatever the case is but you can track it here and then it'll help you know what the groceries are that are associated with it on the clean eating grocery list we have vegetables protein fruits starches beverages grains and oil seasonings and extras so if you are a fan of the grocery inserts you know that there's a whole page missing and I literally just wanted to make this clean eating I wanted to make it a focus on good foods so there's nothing in here about the baking aisle because clearly you know cookies and cakes and things I don't think those are necessarily what we should be having although they're very delicious actually one of my customers reviews they were saying they just take the grocery and certain just kind of slip it in their wallet and honestly it really can come out you can fold it up and put it in your wallet and put it back or whatever you want to do and it's great you don't have to take your whole planner with you to the grocery store and I was doing that for a little while there and then I was like this is kind of a bit much but when I just kind of pull the page out it's really simple to just have it with me and refer to it as I'm shopping around. Alright, so then we come to our next quote. Work out, eat well, be patient, your body will reward you. So this workout plan page, basically I designed this as just a way for you to figure out what it is that you are trying to do as far as your fitness. And I am not by any means a personal trainer. I don't work out regularly. But 
all the time on Pinterest I see all kinds of workout plans and things that I want to try I'm really into yoga right now and so I'm thinking I'm kind of gonna stay on that that but I do want to also kind of just brainstorm some other things that I do want to look into whether it's some types of classes or different types of yoga so I leave all of these boxes for you to kind of figure out what you want to do maybe you might see a couple of leg exercises that you want to try you can jot them down in this box and then label this leg and then you could label this arm and put your arm ones you can really get creative however you want to do it you could do the days of the week because you actually get two pages of this so you get four total pages really two front and back pages um, where you can kind of just get organized with what it is that you're trying to do as far as your fitness plan so I think it's just a great way for you to get on here and regroup and figure out like okay so this is the kind of yoga I want to do this is the cardio stuff that I'm interested in um, whatever the case is or maybe you're planning to do some type of run when it starts to get warmer uh, this is kind of like what you're going to outline for how you do it so it's really a page where you can get as creative as you want and do what you want to do you can put stickers on here you can just use a black pen it's the sky's the limit basically so then after that I have these really cool pages which I love and these are gonna I'm gonna try to put these in every single planning pack moving forward because I think they're great for tracking whatever it is that you're trying to track and so for this you could literally track your when days you work out and you can put like a sticker on there you could put a check mark when you work out so you can go back and look you could put what day it is so maybe you're having like legs you could put L for legs A for arms C for cardio or whatever the case is you could just use this as a regular calendar really because you could pull this out and you could put this anywhere in your planner it's just all its own section so it can have nothing to do with health and fitness pull it out and just have it as something you refer to but you get January and they're all dated through December so again the sky's the limit with this whole thing the sky's the limit you can use it as much or as little as you want and you can literally get as creative as you want which is what my ultimate goal was for this because I don't know I just feel like it's really cool to kind of take a minute to just focus and it's definitely coming at the right time because so many people like to do this at the new year but I do have to stress that this is not something that's just going to be available for the new year this is going to be available year round so this is something you can start at any time and it's just a great way to kind of get yourself organized for what it is you're trying to do for yourself and so then the last section is probably the one I'm the most excited about and this is the new health and fitness planner it's a horizontal fitness planner up here you have your week of so you would just write it it will be undated by the way and then you put I will so a section that says I will and you can literally write what you will do or it doesn't it could just be like I will work out four times this week or I will be more positive this is about you what will you do for yourself and then on each day you have your breakfast lunch dinner and snack where you can write them in you have your water tracker workout which is really nice you can write it in and then you also have the place to track your weight steps your calories and your mood because I think it's important for your mood and the mood I also think you could use that as something maybe if you don't necessarily maybe if you're not sad or happy you're just kind of like whatever I'm here you could just put what you're grateful for that day so it's literally up to you what you want to use and you have that for all five days of the week and then you have for your weekend it's kind of broken in half but you still have everything the same just a little bit of a different layout and so you actually get a whole month worth of these so very nice and be another supplemental pack in the shop that you can always repurchase again later so this will be a separate listing in the shop all on its own so once you run out of these if you really like them and you're like oh I really want to keep using them we'll have plenty for you so there's that there you'll find the supplemental packs for the following and that'll be the clean eating and meal grocery planner and your health and fitness planner and so much more I'm so excited about 2017 for the stationary muse I hope you guys enjoyed this video but before we go I did want to show one other cool feature that you can get with this planning pack and it's actually a new type of product that we're going to be offering this year in the shop and I'm really excited we now have stickers in the shop I'm not becoming a sticker shop but I do love stickers so much and I just wanted to kind of create just a couple of designs every now and then um, and so this is one of the first designs I have and this is actually something that you can purchase with the health and fitness planner 
it'll be an additional add-on to the listing when you're in the in the process of purchasing and it'll also be its own separate item so maybe if you don't want the health and fitness pack but you do want the cute stickers these are the stickers and they're so cute and they actually do fit within the boxes so um, we have some hydrate stickers and some cute colors we have some scales you could actually write your weight in there you have some dots and then these say workout cardio leg ab arm and chest day yoga 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 because I'm like really an advocate of yoga right now and then all of these cute little barbells so this is cute you can get it as an add-on like I said with this or you can get it separately all of the stuff will be linked below for you if you're interested in finding out how you can get it how much it is and all of that good stuff I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful and safe new year and thank you so much I'll see you in the next video bye